it's a, I think it's a good one, and it's something that I certainly run across all the time in my teaching, and as a player too. And uh, it's finding the the music within demanding technical passages. Okay, so a lot of students, um, I, I I probably say this very often, and I know my students are going to. Uh, it's going to resonate with them because I tell them this all the time, but so often they'll come to me and they say, I really want to study with you because you've got great technique and you can teach me all these things about double tonguing and circular breathing and things like this. But um, the truth is, if you really want to be a great technician, you also have to be a really solid musician first. And that means first um, understanding the pedagogy of your embouchure and how the wind works and what your tongue position is doing and things like that. So, so often what happens, I find, is people focus on their fingers and the speed of their fingers and the speed of their tongue at the, uh, at the risk of losing their sound and control. And most of all, what happens is then their, their musical product is not as interesting either. So I'm sure many of you have gone to you know, recitals and you might have heard some people uh, play and you say, wow, they got all the notes, but it left me a little, a, a little wanting some, some color, some style, some flair, these kinds of things. And so what I want to talk about today, and I think we have um, actually eight very good examples of pieces where uh, they're difficult technically, but also in order to bring them off the page, you really have to find the music within them. Yeah, and then there's other matter of the throat tones too. 
So play them really slowly. <laughs>
started the pledge. He's really into the piece. Have you performed it yet? No. Not yet? So you're, you're getting to that point soon? Okay, good. Okay. Now, I think technically you're on a really good path. There's some things um, that I think musically we could work on a little bit. And I would, uh, again, a lot of what I'm going to say are things that I already said. Uh, for instance, in the beginning, I feel like sometimes when you're going from the very partial, uh, you may not have even thought of it that way, but on some of the high register drums, it's not as easy as it might be. Um, so you're kind of rushing, rushing the technique a little bit. So of course, now how hard is this to be sitting here for how long, an hour, and then to come up and I say, Elmar, come play Nielsen Concerto. So, you know, so, but she, she did a terrific job, you know, in, in coming up and, and doing this. And, uh, but the thing is, you want to feel like uh, you're really grounded, you know, like you, you own the piece. And something like this, D flat. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, pleasure to hear you play. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 